vehicle has landed. Tonight, NASA accepting a mission that so far has proven harder than landing a man on the moon. Now hoping to help answer the mystery of UFOs with a new study. I think it's it's really <laughs> exciting. It almost feels like opening a new book. NASA's announcement coming on the heels of a new office set up at the Pentagon to investigate top secret encounters between pilots and unidentified aerial phenomena flying in restricted airspace. There's a whole fleet of them. But unlike the Department of Defense, NASA says their findings won't be classified and could even include reviews of videos captured by civilians. What is going on right now? Up until recently, public sightings have gone mostly ignored by the scientific community, like this video captured by a film crew in the Utah desert of an object moving at extremely high speeds. Having NASA be able to apply the scientific method to this and really um, rule out what these aren't first and starting from there um, is huge. NASA says they hope to eventually cross-reference credible sightings with solid data like satellite images or atmospheric records. But as for what they are... So far, we've seen NASA say that there's no evidence that this is extraterrestrial life. But does that mean that it's not extraterrestrial life? I'm a scientist, and uh, if somebody asks me, is this extraterrestrial life? Frankly, at this moment in time, the simple answer is the right one, which is I don't know. A promise to keep an open mind and boldly study what no space agency has thoroughly investigated before. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Los Angeles.